Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are going to be doing some fun Valentine's Day activities and crafts using mostly Dollar Tree items. Our first is probably my favorite. You will need a canvas, some cheap tissue paper, a brush, water, and some glue. I'm gonna be using Mod Podge. All of these items can be found at Dollar Tree. The first thing you want to do is prep your tissue paper. I opened up the paper and created a long fold. Then I folded this created edge in half two more times and cut out half of a heart shape on the fold so that when it was opened up, I would have some hearts. I repeated this process a number of times using the different colors of tissue paper until I had plenty of hearts. I also tried to change up the sizes too so that I didn't have all of the same size. Once all of your tissue hearts are prepped, you want to paint your canvas with a little bit of water and then place the hearts on your wet canvas in whatever design you prefer. I especially like the look of overlapping hearts because they create new colors and it gives the design a little bit more dimension. When we were happy with how the canvas looked, we let it dry a bit and then added our Mod Podge on top to secure the hearts to the canvas. Here, you have to be a little bit gentle because the hearts could tear, but if this happens, you can always add some more tissue hearts on top. Then let the canvas dry completely. You could stop here, but after labeling and dating the canvas, I let Aubrey add some dots to the design using my gold paint pen that I also got from the Dollar Tree. Her dots turned into random scribbles, which turned into a little path of an imaginary creature. I even added some designs myself. I thought some stitches on the outer edge of a heart would look cute. And I also added a little arrow through one of the hearts as well. I really love how this craft ended up looking, and I especially like how easy this was to throw together. 
Aubrey had a blast making this too, which ultimately was the point of the activity. Moving on, we are going to make some stained glass inspired hearts using the same tissue paper and some clear contact paper from the Dollar Tree. First, you want to cut out two identical rectangles from the contact paper. The size here doesn't really matter, but I would suggest the bigger the better. Then, remove the backing from one of your rectangles and place the clear contact paper sticky side up on the table. Have your child rip off little pieces of the tissue paper and then place them all over the contact paper. I would suggest trying to stay away from the edges of the contact paper. Also, you don't need to fill all of the empty space with tissue paper if you don't want to. In fact, it's probably better if you leave some contact paper untouched, and I will explain why in a bit. When you are happy with the placement of all of the scraps of tissue paper, peel off the second rectangle of contact paper and place it on top of the design and smooth it out. Then fold this in half and cut out half of a heart along the fold so that when it is opened back up, you will have a symmetrical heart. You can even cut out smaller hearts using the scraps of your design as well. If you followed my advice of trying to place the tissue paper away from the edges of the contact paper and leaving some of the contact paper untouched, you should have bits of the perimeter of the heart secure with two pieces of contact paper touching each other. If you covered the entire thing in tissue paper, the edges of the heart may open up since you wouldn't have two pieces of contact paper sticking to each other. You can hang the individual hearts if you want, or you can use more contact paper to sandwich multiple hearts together in one design. We did this because we didn't take my advice and our hearts were opening up a little bit. Aubrey hung this design in her room. We love seeing her creation from outside her window when we are outside. Next up, we are going to make a watercolor love bug. You will need some glue, black paint, water, paper, I used watercolor paper, a brush, and some watercolor paint. The first thing you are going to do is mix your glue and your paint. I've seen people just put the paint in the glue container and mix them in the glue container for easy dispensing, but I wasn't going to use all of my glue for this project and I didn't want to make my entire bottle black. So I first dispensed some glue into a Ziploc bag and then added some black paint to the same bag and mixed them together that way. Then I cut off a small bit from the corner of the bag and piped on my design to my watercolor paper. I created a little love bug with heart antennas and then made some hearts in the empty space as well. For a similar effect, you could use store-bought puffy paint. Then I let the design dry. Because I had some pretty thick parts in my design, I let it dry for 24 hours before moving on to the next step. If you cut an even smaller piece from the corner of the Ziploc bag, your design may dry faster. Then watercolor away. The glue paint mixture helps contain the watercolor paint in each section to avoid color bleeding. This craft was really fun to make and the design possibilities are endless.
Last up, we are going to make some happy hearts using a red dry erase marker, a ceramic plate, and some water. Using your dry erase marker, draw some hearts on your plate. Then slowly pour some water on the plate and watch the hearts begin to float. Have your child make your hearts move around by blowing them through a straw. You can also draw a little stick figure and make him dance if you want. Aubrey had fun making the hearts dance around, but also wanted to try drawing her own design. So here's what she created. I hope you got some inspiration from or simply enjoyed today's video. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you checked out some more of my videos and subscribe if you enjoy my motherhood content. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness and I will catch you in the next one.